are to the winners of the 42nd edition of the Kikoso Games here in Narok. The World Kickboxing Federation Kenya is on a recruiting drive for mixed martial artists across the country with a special interest in tapping into female talent. According to the Federation's President Jafet Takid Master Yahuma, having kickboxing clubs across the counties would help the Federation tap into government support and make mixed martial arts a lucrative sports business, as Bridget Sangana reports. The ring at Madison Square at the Nakuru Boxing Club played host to the World Kickboxing Federation Kenya's first inter-county tournament, bringing together more than 70 contestants. Kickboxing is one of the martial arts sports where two competitors fight by hitting each other with their hands and kicking with their feet. The contact sport has a commendable following in the country with the number of women kickboxers now steadily rising. Out of the 200 registered kickboxers in Kenya, 45 are women which translates to almost a quarter. <laughs> You know the way kickboxing is like, it looks really cool to like do and practice and train and it's really fun to do it in the gym so I fell in love with the sport after going to the gym. There are other women who are part of the kickboxing ecosystem serving in different capacities. There is a female coach in the national team and four women who arbitrate fights as referees. Paris Gidiga is the current head of referees in WKF Kenya. I got my first medal when I was in class 6 and then from that that was you you time nilikuwa na fight taekwondo nimechezea Muay Thai professional peer kutoka hapo nimekuwa kwa mixed martial arts MMA as the women battle in the ring, they are also grappling to demystify some misconceptions associated with women taking part in kickboxing. Kuna wenye wanasema eti ukiwa fighter utaolewa, hapana si tuko na familia yenye mama na hakuna mtu ako na discipline kama mtu mwenye ako kwa sports. Internationally, mixed martial arts is a lucrative sporting industry with the UFC alone generating billions of shillings. Reaching similar heights is an arduous task for the World Kickboxing Federation Kenya, which has lofty ambitions of making the sport a business entity. Sports Act 2013 says that we should reach at not uh, less than 24 counties. And now that's why I've started coming to Nakuru. Next, I'll be in Mombasa. I'll be again in uh, Kisumu. Nimekuwa nikiangalia mafaita wa UFC like Akina Amadanunas. Yani mbaka ukitembea unaona awana uoga. So plus zile pesa wana chezia ni pesa tamu. Ambapo size WKF, iyo ndiyo tunataka kuinua easy talent. I, awe nyo ma upcoming wafike pale. So iyo ndiyo target yetu kama WKF. The sport still struggles with facilities and infrastructure. At the Madison grounds, they pay a fee to use the facility. For now, the Federation is looking at fundraising to get its own ring. But mostly, I would like my Federation to have their own ring. Because if you would have our own ring, boxing ring, we'd be going to every county to have all these championships. Because the ring is the most expensive thing in kickboxing. WKF Kenya also hopes to be a holistic sporting federation that caters to social issues like mental health and wellness, the environment, and community development. Bridget Ghana, NTV Nakuru.